just another beautiful day in Havasu. A couple days ago, a guy named Ray stopped by, watches the channel, and uh, he basically uh, had a building he was cleaning out and made me a deal on a CNC lathe that I couldn't pass up. So we're going to fire the tow truck up. We're on our way to meet Jimmy. He's bringing the trailer. And we're going to see if we can move this thing closer to the door in the building. We kind of looked at it yesterday. But uh, it's going to... It's kind of a problem because it weighs 9,000 pounds and uh, the size of forklift we need to get in there to get it won't fit through the door. So we're going to move it closer to the door. The big forklift can pick it up and actually set it on my orange rollback. We're going to do that tomorrow. We'll show you that. But uh, right now we got to head over there and uh, see if we can get it close to the door. At least get it off the floor. This should be entertaining. Already at it. Oh, it's early. Figure this out. Oh yeah, it's all gonna pop Man, right up of there. Nice bunch of cable. Yeah, it is. So here's our awesome machine. Oh yeah, the things we can make with this. So I guess we'll start loading tooling. And we got a program going on here with a strap underneath. We're going to uh, attempt to slide this thing on the floor. Let's see if we can get it over there by that door. So our forklift will pick it up tomorrow and set it on a truck. The old truck. scoot it along but yeah other than a little black mark so yeah we'll get this thing up to uh, Jimmy's house and get it set up right but right now we're calling it's it good. breakfast time it is breakfast time the following day we're on our way to meet Jimmy Got a little air leak going on. This thing leaks when it's cold. It's probably one of the funnest trucks to drive that I own. 66 can work. Got a 350 small cam and a 13 speed. And it just runs so good. It's got air conditioning. Under dash, old school, eight track tape player. 29 channel, 23 channel, midland radio. All works. Anyway, we'll get down there and get this machine loaded. Jimmy, what are you doing? We got us. We're waiting on a forklift. Waiting on a forklift. Are you ready, Chris? You ready to have this We're thing ready out to here? have some fun. Oh, look at that. We've got the flag going on it. Last machine out takes the flag. Yeah, last machine out. So this is the last machine out of the shop. We've got this big old forklift coming. That was easy. She's up.
That's what 9,000 pounds of uh, CNC looks like on the back of the old truck. They have heavy Euro. So we get some chains on there. And, uh, we tighten them plates up and give us some more stability. Put them corner plates under. You don't want that extra with you? So how many how many pound lift is this? It's twenty two thousand. The guy that I got it from said he would uh, lift thirty thousand pound coils with it. It's definitely heavy duty. What engines in it? It has a straight six uh, Cummins in it. Yeah, Cummins Cummins for the yeah. win. Just saying. Hauling the trailers. So hauling the trailers here in Havasu, they got this big forklift. They they were kind enough to come up here and lift this big machine. I only know of two lifts big enough right here in the area to do this, and this was one of them. So. I got the biggest one in town. Thanks, Jack. Thanks, man. See ya. Yeah, let's tighten that side first. without breaking it yeah so we put it on that chunk of wood I figured we'd chip concrete but Jimmy got that block under there and then it slid off but boy it kicked and scratched all the way down so yeah we'll get it set up here and be uh, making chips in no time well beautiful 105 degree morning here in Havasu just got a call from somebody and an F-350 stuck out in the desert. So I'm gonna go pick up Jimmy and uh, we'll go check this out. Uh, I know it's only 105. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what this thing is. They don't have any pictures of it. F-350 somewhere just off of ice and then I don't know. They drove off in a hole and got stuck or something. They're pulling out their day of the week. In this heat, that's danger pay. <laughs> so is that what we're getting to go get this in, on Sunday? I don't know. We better get more breakfast. This, that's for darn sure. Is this danger pay? <laughs> so we've met up with our customer. And uh, he, said, he said he doesn't know how we're going to get his truck out of here, but he's going to take us out in his Lincoln to yeah, show us where it's at. Yeah, we're supposed to follow him into Lincoln. <laughs> That's awesome. You can only imagine if he's doing this with his Lincoln, what his truck looks like. Show him the Lincoln. They're seeing it. Oh, they got the Lincoln. I'm blown away by that. <laughs> Oh, he's got, 
Yeah, you're gonna be famous now. <laughs> I'm gonna you'll, be famous. You'll never huh? live this down. All your friends. Yeah. Um, they're gonna know what you did. This is called early times. Early times. So I don't know where these guys come up. So these side by sides, they come out here. They don't know where they're at, and they rename all these trails. This trail has been early times since the early 70s of Lake Havasu. Oh, all right. So yeah, when you were saying Easy Street, I'm like, I've never heard of that. But yeah, this is called Early Times. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's a pretty good little waterfall right there. But yeah, wasn't, uh, um, uh, that's the only hill. Yeah, there's there's one down there, and then I think there's a little go around. You can go this way, but honestly, we're probably better off going back up the other way. So. Yeah, I got a flat, but yeah. I don't really care. I just want to get the flat ground, and then I can assess it from there. Yeah. Well, I got air, so I brought plugs and stuff. We can probably air the tire up. So if you want to just hike off here somewhere, we're gonna go down and drop off, and I'll come back up. <laughs> And uh, we'll get you unstuck, turned around, and get you down to where we can pull you up. I'll probably just put you on a yank them rope, and we'll just go for it. Do you know? Do you know what happened to four-wheel drive? I do not know. Um, uh, I was gonna check to see if it was the hubs. Maybe the hubs aren't kicking in. What year is that truck? That's an 03. Okay, yeah, it's probably the. It's hubs. totaled. Uh, wait till you see it. It's, yeah. it's, it's... You bashed it and trashed it, did you? Sure did. Were, was alcohol involved? Can't say. <laughs> I'll meet you down there. <laughs> Very stuck. It's just between a rock and a hard place. Yeah, and then I got pissed off at it. Pretty much blew that tire out. <laughs> so this tire is junk. Yeah, it's got air in it. Okay. This is from the crawler running over the back of my truck. Uh, nice. It is the lockout. It's the driver's side lockout. So can we take it apart and get it in? Because you ain't getting it out of here without four wheel drive. I can tell you that right now. It's up here every direction. Ain't nobody can pull it. No. A couple things gonna have to happen. One is we need to get it out here where we can assess it. We need to air this tire down. Obviously that tire, that's that's what I want all the tires to look like right there. Okay. We need to get them aired down and then we need to get it in four wheel drive. And then I think I can put you on a Yankum rope and I think I can pull you back up here and around this upper waterfall. I mean, I'm not sure on the other one. Um, that's what they were trying. That's what a buddy's calling that one. This one? Yeah, he, he broke. Yeah, the problem is, you know, it's too soft at the top. The one we just came down is is short, but it's really steep. The problem is they got us fenced out down here. Yeah, they've built a fence across to get out down here, so it's just as bad down that way. Uh, it's definitely this side locked up. So these are manual yep. or automatic, right? Yep. Right. And have you you've tried turning it? Yeah. Yeah, what I want to do is I want to put you right up here, and then I want to go over these tires. Because yep. these tires are horrible. So. So basically, here's where we're at. We got it out of the hole. And uh, we pulled this hub off. It's got a broken axle. So that's, that's a bad deal. Um, we did let a bunch of air out of the tires. Get us further over here to where that we got one more little hill climb, which probably isn't too bad because I could probably winch it if I have to, but this one here is definitely a no-go. That is just too much. So we'll uh, back this thing up here and show you guys what we do. I think what we're going to do is back it around the corner here. And then... Uh, We'll get him down here and then we'll just head back up here. That'll get us at least one level up because I know I can pull him up this. So we'll go from there. What do you think, Jimmy? Got a long ways to go. Tough pull with a two wheel drive. Right? <laughs> Clean your windshield so you can see. Got a rag or something? Jimmy, yeah. just for fun, double lap. I was going to say, okay. Yeah, I, I don't know how hard I'm going to have to hit this thing. No, 
Yeah, the, the loop. Shackle. Yeah, double out shackle just so we don't. Uh, we don't have a reoccurrence of Paul with the record games. Hold what you got. Yep. Brake and throttle, stay in gear. Yep. I'm gonna back up and hit you and bump you over. Right. Yeah, if the rope's too long, we're gonna shorten it up, but uh, I, I think we should be good. So okay. let's see if we can get it up on top and then we'll reevaluate when we get up there. So the plan here is, we've got to go up this little steep hill. I know I can get up on top of it fairly easy, and I think if I can pull from up there, he's down here, we'll just hook all of our straps together. He had this red strap, I've got a sacrificial strap here, and then if we need a little more elasticity, we'll put a yank him rope on it. But we're going to get him turned around and backed up this way, um, and then I'll get up on top and we'll spend a minute rigging it. So, yeah, this ought to be fun. This thing is just unbelievable. Let's see how far up here he can get. Okay, let's rig it. strap double double soft shackle Jimmy's got two utility ropes with two shaw soft shackles and uh, I don't know we're gonna attempt to pull this two-wheel drive truck so just keep momentum on it just keep uh, pressure momentum and I'll just pull you okay. it'll it'll be fair it'll be fairly slow but I've got really good traction up here. Okay. And these ropes will be rubbing hard on the ledge, so. All right, Jimmy. You're the camera operator now. Now that you've rigged me, I'm gonna go look like the hero. I wish I could <laughs> fly in here in a helicopter and just do this, but uh, that's not how we roll around here. <laughs> Great. All right. All right, so you're coaching him? Yes, sir. I'm um, what? Makes it look easy, doesn't he? Yeah, hey, we're out. Woo! Next oh, time, boy. next time we need to make this a little more difficult. Yeah, whatever. That was hard. That was a heavy truck <laughs> pulling up there. Yeah, it did great. Did it spin, spin tires? 
Yeah, he did. He did good. Well, good. your truck's out. Man, what a beast! Yeah, that thing's that a old, monster. That old tow truck does its does its job. Wow, I didn't think you were gonna be able to. I thought you had a winch. I didn't think you were gonna be able to. Pull. Oh, I have a winch, but that's an all-day exercise. I like to I like to make it easy, you know. Man, a cork uh, thing, guys. Yeah, check out the old truck. So they took it rock crawling on early times. Got a pretty good dent there. Got a couple little dents here. He said there wasn't a dent in it when he went down. Um, dent here. He's got his tailgate in the back. His buddy run it over with the rock crawler. I, I'm guessing he's not your buddy anymore. Nah. Tell him he's got body work to do. And uh, this tire got shredded. We let the most of the air out of it. Um, this side kind of got the worst of it. There's a couple waterfalls they got stuck in. And then, obviously, the uh, broken axle. So, yeah. He's going to go home and lick his wounds, and uh, Jimmy and I are going to go get some breakfast. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll catch you later.